Hello everyone, this is another recording with my uh, Android Netrunner series with commentary. Uh, today I'm going to be playing my new noise deck that is based on the new release the spaces between utilizing cache. Uh, I'm going against Hush Pyroid and this is uh, supposed to be a noise deck that's more to my playstyle which is usually very uh, aggressive and uh, very junky. So I have an OK start, nothing great. I start by uh, getting into R&D without any troubles and seeing a biotic label. I do not want him having a biotic label, so I draw a card and play virus immediately. Uh, fortunately, I drew a virus to manage to trust the biotic label. Uh, the has biotic player continues by playing very fast and uh, starting to create some remotes, but I don't know what they are. Um, I continue to R&D and I fortunately see a Tollbooth, which makes me happy because it makes me very poor. Unfortunately, it's also Caduceus, um, but I don't want to fight uh, to, redu uh, to stop him from getting money because I don't have any economy at the moment. And he has a pretty good one. So I decided to just let him take the money back and stay out of his HQ while I keep drawing to find my more solid economy. I draw a cyber feeder, which makes me happy because that will uh, make any casts that I draw much more uh, uh, powerful. Uh, and I play my uh, my grimoire, which will also increase the power of my casts. Um, he continues uh, building a server. I didn't expect him that he would play any agendas on the free, so I didn't bother to run it. Um, and now he's uh, revealing a Jackson, which I don't really like. Um, I draw another cyber feeder, so I, it's a perfect point to play sampling my two cost viruses, and I go straight for his most expensive ice. Uh, he uh, preemptively protects it, and he covers his archives, which tells me that he probably has an agenda in there. Uh, and he doesn't want to waste his actions, so I run archives to force him to res, and he, for he res a very expensive ice, which also makes me happy. Uh, I draw another card and draw into my Aesop, which makes me also very happy, but I am at zero credits now. He continues with some very strong economy cards, and he's uh, running ahead, and keeps playing more remotes. I'm suspecting that he might try to sneak an agenda, because I haven't been checking anything, so I decide to check the third remote, just in case. He's being sneaky. It is an agenda, it's just a need campaign, and then I draw into my Seherazei, which means my cash combo is perfect. All I need is the actual cash. I draw into more uh, parasites, and he raises more economy, and plays another remote. I don't want him to think to get complacent, so I force him to raise his eyes and then run his remote uh, to make sure he's not being sneaky. Um, if I remember correctly, yes. Um, I also play my free parasite on his HQ to force him to continue defending, but I'm not trusting his assets until he raises them. Uh, I think he does a mistake here. I'm so poor, he could have easily raised both the Eve and the Adonis a second and started taking money from those, but he plays it safe and doesn't. Uh, his Tolputh goes down, so I run RD to force him to raise something new. It's a high value uh, ice, so. I'm not very happy about that. High strength eyes. Um, I can't get through. I decide to go look for more uh, power. I get uh, one cyber, uh, one data cycle for free. Actually gives me money. And I have a plan to get into R&D immediately next turn with my scrap that I just did. He keeps rotating his remote. He's probably preparing to score an agenda. Plays another uh, new remote. I suspect he stopped playing, uh, he is too afraid to play agenda, so I decide not to run this time. Um, and I have a plan, so I play my clone ship, which will allow me to get back my uh, parasite. I play the parasite on the uh, viper, which comes with one virus, and I play the scrub. So immediately, as soon as I encounter that, it has one strength, and with one data cycle, it goes down the first uh, time I encounter it. Uh, he still has quite a lot of money. So I'm not so much into stopping him, I just want him to struggle to get uh, ice. I saw a Nietzsche one, it uses R&D, and I'm pretty definite that's the 
ice he just played. He wants to slow me down. I decide not to run that ice until I'm good and ready. Especially with the money that I have and the money that he has, he can easily trace me for a good amount and give me a tag, which would be bad. So, at this point, I'm really struggling with economy. I have no cases. I'm forced to eat my data suckers and just to be able to play my gin. And the gin, of course, allows me to get my cash, which I then place into my Seherazade to start my combo going. I have one more click left. I don't know what to do with it. Um, and I'm just going to uh, draw a card, see if I can draw something interesting for next turn. No, uh, sorry, I instead prepare my next cast for the next turn. So I need to get my economy to sh uh, up to par because he's really uh, uh, rushing ahead. He uh, plays uh, something I'm almost certain is an agenda. He feels secure. I'm so low. I think I'm going to let him have it. I'm afraid he's going to score um, one efficiency committee. But uh, I can't really do anything at the moment without handicapping myself. So I decided to just uh, allow him to have that agenda and continue building my economy. Um, so I'm going to run HQ, see if I can force him to raise something so I can see what it is. Uh, he raises his uh, ally, that's fine with me, I'm not going to waste clicks getting through that. I'm going to prepare uh, my cash for the next turn. Uh, be able to get some money and draw some more cards, see if I can actually draw something more useful than what I have. I draw into a deja vu, which is good because I can get back more parasites and more cases and continue putting pressure without breakers. Unfortunately, he does score an agenda, he gets the mic scrap down. Very fortunate for me, it was an, a an APD, which he actually wanted me to run. So that's very good for me. An efficiency committee would have been much, much worse. Uh, I'm very happy that he just uh, forced himself to score an MAPD. Uh, it's a harmless agenda for me. It just gives me time to set up more uh, on my side. So I play another data sucker and run uh, through that itchy with two clicks left. I'm see I'm preparing already to just click through it. I don't care uh, about losing the clicks. I just want him to raise it to get down his money. For some reason he traces him for six, even though my economy is much stronger than his at the moment. I'm not sure what he's trying to achieve. Maybe he uh, thought that he would notice. Um, so I just pay that. I'm fine. I'm very happy with it. He goes down to 6 credits. And he is uh, very poor. If he raises any of his assets, I can just immediately grab an imp and trust him. For some reason, he decides to biotic labor. Uh, which is fine by me because he bankrupts himself. Which means I have a lot of time to set up. Unfortunately, he gets two eyes out of that. Uh, one of it is a Lotus Field, which will be really tricky for me to pass. He puts it into R&D, uh, which I was planning to target, and then puts something in archives, um, which pretty much tells me I have to focus into HQ, and this is exactly what I'm going to do. So I grab uh, two parasites. I play one for free into his Eli. Uh, he have already two data cycle tokens from my previous runs. And that's just perfect for me to get into his R&D by using my uh, data suckers and my uh, ice uh, carver. So he doesn't graze. Unfortunately, I don't hit anything important. I see the viper and I just know he's going to play that immediately. He's using his you because it's cheap and strong and powerful in strength at least. He doesn't, which is good for me. It also tells me that he probably doesn't have anything in his Q. I never run the last run again. And he raises the second dice, which is fine. I put another parasite and I keep drawing the best thing I could draw. I draw into finally my wild side as some of my hand is running out and I'm running out of economy. So this will allow me to keep putting the pressure. He doesn't even bother to keep that dice. I would have kept it for one round. No, it wouldn't do anything. I would try it immediately. So he replaces it with his viper. I go for another cast with my last credit, which will kickstart my economy even more. So I'm going to grab 8 credits out of this cash, um, which will really put me into a good position next turn to start putting on the pressure. Um, I'm thinking a bit how I'm going to proceed next turn, because I have no parasites anymore. I decided to just play some cards out of my hand to allow my wild side to uh, replenish my heart. And at this point I noticed that his deck is actually running out. So I can have a theoretically good chance to deck him. 
Um, he keeps playing uh, stuff into his remote. Um, I'm suspecting that might be an agenda, so I want to make sure that he's not being sneaky. I have the capacity to get through that, so I'm going to go ahead and just run that as a server. Uh, I'm afraid it's going to be an itchy in front. I'm actually praying at the moment you can't hear me, but I'm praying don't be an itchy. Uh, because uh, that would force me to uh, 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 waste my parasite on it and I wouldn't be able to get through. Uh, fortunately, uh, it's not an itchy, so I can get through and I managed to get through uh, and see and ash, which I have to flash because I don't want him to actually use it when it's necessary. Um, I don't want my castle to go to waste, so I drop down one of these and thinking maybe I can eat it later. Um, on his turn, his economy is really going down and I notice that he e eats his Jackson without meaning to and I take, take a look and he's down to three cards left. So he's really feeling the pressure from the decking on coming. He plays another card. Um, I don't think really it's an agenda. He doesn't seem the person who would risk his agendas. And I draw. I was planning to eat one of my uh, Jemol things, but I get an Aseherazade. So that's good enough for me. I'm going to eat my second Aseherazade and play it again. And then I'm going to play the Imp to force him uh, to uh, put pressure on HQ. And force him to raise something. He raises a viper. That is fine by me. Uh, I have such a strong economy at the moment that uh, I just let him trace me for three. I uh, I pay it and continue into HQ. I want to really trust any economy, any biotic labels. I don't actually care to see agendas. I want to trust the stuff that will let him score agendas. I see one agenda that I didn't want to see. I see the six cost agenda, which he anyway cannot score. Um, he raises his Jackson, he's uh, trying to get something uh, into his hand that will allow him to score for uh, three more points. But he really hamstrung his economy by not raising those assets. And now he's in a really bad situation. He cannot, uh, he doesn't have the economy to biotic labor through this uh, lockdown I have. Uh, even though he had at some point 20 credits economy. So I decided to get more economy, I just need to get through that Viper without any breaker, so I just keep uh, getting my castes in, trusting his cards and getting the economy to get through the Viper uh, for 3 credits. All he can do is trace, that's fine by me. So I continue to the Viper, uh, he doesn't want to raise his eyes because he won't have any money to scale agendas and I do see his 3 to cost agenda and I stop him from scoring something easy. Um, he plays a card, I'm pretty sure that's an agenda, maybe he thinks he can defend it. Uh, so fortunately for me I draw into my uh, uh, into my Crypsis, I play it for 2 credits and then f proceed to play uh, my uh, Cass. Should have played it last turn, uh, but doesn't matter, I have more than enough money to get through whatever it is. And it's just a barrier breaker. Uh, with all my data cycles, all I need is two credits from Crypsis and a virus, and I get through on the chip. Um, by mistake, he kicks me out instead of pressing F3, he presses F12. Um, so I just rerun uh, and see another Vitruvius, that's fine. Um, all I need is to stop him from winning, uh, to stop him from having any chance. So I see one more card in his HQ. He plays one more card and advances it twice. Now this could be a two-point agenda, this could be a trap. Maybe an aggressive secretary, I don't want to risk it. Whatever it is. So I'm considering a bit what it could be. And I'm thinking I can just uh, force him to uh, deck himself. But I want to make sure this is not a Howard. If it's a Howard, I'm just going to run that, that card. It's not a Howard. So I now know that I can just deck him. Um, because I know the other two are also assets. Oh, I don't have a virus in my hand, but I do have a clone chip. So that's enough to get me the virus I need to trash his last card. And here I'm just thinking, uh, what if there could possibly be anything I can't remember anymore uh, that could stop me from taking him? Um, I decide to get a parasite just in case I have forgotten something, and um, then just play the corroder and let the, the game take his course. Uh, I haven't forgotten anything, and it turns out he cannot actually win the game. 
and I get attacking vector even through two hours. I didn't even bother running into archives. And this is the power, all this speed that the cast gives you. Um, you keep playing viruses and milling cards until your opponent runs out of steam. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more in the future.